Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a recent digital painting I've done in GIMP. Now, the reference I'm using for this is a line pencil sketchbook drawing. Uh, I did this drawing on Cuba Street at the start of September. Uh, for the reference, I'm using a, another monitor and just referring back to that. As you can see, I'm starting with a white background and I'm just establishing this tree at first and I'll go on with colour later. I work on 80% opacity as it offers a smooth look to the image. I'm establishing the main shapes in black. First was that tree and then I've gone in to this street pole. I finish, uh, I finish the tree and next I work on, an ad on a pillar on the right here. Um, as you can see I'm just sketching that in. Uh, these these pillars were uh, th there's a few of them around uh, Wellington, eh? Um, so it was cool to draw them. Uh, put in a figure. Uh, it really helps with with scale and such. Uh, put in three figures, and I put in that line at the background that ex that shows the perspective going off. As you can see, I started with a switch to a grey and putting these plants in with grey. Now I've gone to my lightest grey and just covering the background area with this light grey. Uh, just kind of, rather than having white background, it's easier to put in this light grey. It just f makes it feel more finished. Just cover the, uh, yeah, put a... Start on another pillar on the right here. This pillar on the right here is actually from imagination. It wasn't actually in the uh, in the in the sketch, but I decided to uh, just modify the the sketch somewhat and uh, put put this pillar into it. Now I'm going to start add some um, tonal tonal uh, tone to the uh, the pillar, uh, some grey in that, and then I also. Uh, Put in the rest of the uh, plants, the middle grey plants, and and more uh, more light light grey into the uh, the pillar. So moving yeah, the, the pillar has three three tones, which which is good. But three, I think three tones is really good to work with: a dark, a mid, and a grey. I've decided to spread this light grey around the page a bit more, so. I cover a lot of the black areas, like the tree and that pole, with with the black. Um, so yeah, get, cover covering the uh, the tree, the the bush and stuff with the black, and got started in the sky there. B black adds it helps add contrast to the image. And now another pole on the right here. Again, this wasn't in the sketch, but I'm just adding it there because it seems to be working. So I add that in, black again. A bit larger than the, the one on the left there, just to try and add some perspective to, to the image because it, it was a rather flat image, so good to add some scale perspective into it. Added some light into the sky there, and black now into the uh, these into the bush, and just black on the left there. That that left area actually turns into a pillar back a bit later on, but for now I'm not really sure what's happening with it. Just fill in some more areas with with black and that with the plants and and such. And now it's time to move into color, so. With these colours, I uh, start off with this yellow. I've used I've used all these colours in, pr in previous works, so I kind of know how they work a bit. So get that yellow down, and then use a darker green on the tree. So just covering cover just covering that black with 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 colours. It's working nice and quickly here, as you can see. The video is sped up four times. Four times seems to work well. Here I've gone in with a lighter lighter green onto the trees. I wasn't particularly a big fan of that dark green, so the lighter one looks actually looks better. 
and gone in with light yellow into the uh, pole and pink into the pillars. It's important to spread those colours around so I um yeah. Red into the pillar. Uh I quite like that red actually. It's it's work works quite nicely on those pillars. I don't normally work with pink, so nice to work with uh, something a bit different. And now blue into the background. Um, just very light blue I'm working with here. That just covering covering that light grey with with the blue. The cover areas. As you can see, I switch between colors somewhat, so I kind of put the yellow in, then the green, then the red, and I switch in the blue, and then I'll switch back to the yellow and such. I think it's really important to, to balance the colors around the page. You can see I've gone in with the yellow on the other side, sign on the right there. Just get that, that yellow established. And the lighter yellow on, on the side. Now I choose a very fluorescent blue to put in the sky here. Don't usually use colours this fluorescent. I'm not particularly a big fan of this fluorescent blue, so later on I actually in a moment I uh, decide to go over it with a, a lighter yellow which works out well but it works okay in the background see there we go there now um, going in with that lighter blue it's certainly uh, more fluorescent blue just putting it over top of areas into the building on the right there just to establish that it, that it is a building going off into the background like that now add go back to the green just there's areas that we're missing it especially on the right there so just put in little areas of green on the right and back to the blue gone in with much darker blue this time just to push back that background and push forward the foreground next I decide to uh, turn this area on the left it wasn't really doing much so I just decided to turn it into a pillar why not so thank you for watching this video, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've enjoyed the commentary, please comment and rate it, 